Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This is supposed to be the beauty of capitalism, which is free market. You know, it's competition. Competition. The competition is based on supply and demand. Uh, you know, how you have a demand, the population wants something, and you go and compete with others, fair competition, compete with others to provide a uh, demand you supply it and uh, the better the product you have and uh, the business model that you provide you are successful that's the way it's supposed to work you provide the best offer to the uh, demand which is us in this case or whatever so um, we have private military companies capitalism competition you have a private military company that is good here and the other one here and they grow or they just you know go up and down one comes up sometimes it just disappears we have wagner we have wagner and we have another private military company or mercenary company however you want to call it it depends on how much you know about it uh it's uh, another one replaces wagner so this new russian military private military company, how you want to call it, uh, replaces Wagner. So let's find out what the UK intelligence reveals. Remember, UK intelligence found Saddam Hussein's uh, weapons of mass destruction. Remember? They found them. Yeah, they're still looking for them. Here it is. Ukrainska Pravda. UK intelligence says that Redut replaces Wagner, helping Russia to avoid mobilization. Well, you know, uh, you adapt. Adaptation is uh, the mark of a superior entity. Yeah, I'm going to use that, or better, how you want to call it. UK intelligence has revealed that activities of the private military company PMC Redut, which has effectively replaced the Wagner group in the combat zone in Ukraine. So from now on, you don't want to hear about Wagner much, you're going to hear about Redut. This is according to a 16th of October Defense Intelligence update from the UK Ministry of Defense reported by European Pravda. So official. UK Defense Intelligence noted that, that Redut is recruiting mercenaries under the guise of volunteers, including former Wagnerites. Okay, well, good for them, I guess. What can I say? Uh, I'm pretty sure the other side doesn't do that. The group is controlled and financed by the GRU, the main directorate of the general staff of the armed forces of the Russian Federation, formerly the main intelligence directorate. Since the beginning of the invasion, Redut participated in combat operations in Donetsk, Kharkiv, Kiev, and Luhansk Oblast. So uh, let's see Donetsk, Kharkiv, Kiev, and Luhansk. So that is map here. So we get here Kharkiv Oblast right here, Kiev is right here, right? And then we got uh, what Donetsk is right here. Did I miss anything? Kiev, Luhansk, Luhansk, Donetsk, Kharkiv, Kiev. So yes, Kharkiv, Luhansk, Donetsk, Kiev, right here. So this is where these guys were involved. So let's see who these guys are, shall we? Oh, we got a Batman here. Must be Romanians here. Was it a bat, a vampire? Uh, Redut, also known as Redupt. Redut Anti-Terror or Center R, formerly known as SHIELD, is the Russian private military and security company that is part of the anti-terror family, which consists of similar named PMCs, PMSCs, that protect commercial operations of Russian companies. It is currently deployed by Russia in the Russian invasion, invasion of Ukraine. It was established in 2008 as a merger of several minor veteran groups groupings of the Russian Federal Intelligence Services, Russian Air Force and units of the Russian Ministry of Defense who had obtained combat experience and military and pack and pace peacekeeping missions. Yeah, okay. Members of the, the group have been convicted of committing war crimes during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Convicted by whom? I would like to know. And we got the founders here, General Vladimir Alexeyev and Anatoly Karazin. And they said something that there is done by the Spetsnaz, wasn't that? Right here. By members of the Russian Special Forces. So according to Norwegian researchers from the Papapa BBB, Redut emerged in 2008, was founded in 2003 by members of the Russian Special Forces, the Spetsnaz, 
read about them. It is an affiliate pop up up. Okay, let's go back to the article here now that we know. The group now may now consist of more than 7,000 people, the intelligence said. So it's growing. Redut is currently one of the several PMCs and volunteer units that the Russian military of defense has been using to enforce regular troops. Adaptation, my friends. UK intelligence suggests that recruiting mercenaries in these so-called volunteer units is helping Russia to avoid declaring mobilization, considered an unpopular move. Well, how about this? Does Redut go out and grab Russians from their beds or bars and get them uh, to fight? No. How do they do? Guys, if you go to die in Ukraine, we're going to pay you this much. And you are like, you know, uh, capitalism. Well, let me see. Cost, benefit. And then you say, yeah, I'm baby doll. I'm going to go. Don't go. Yeah, I'm going. No, yeah. Um, and they go. So, however these guys are trying to make it like they avoid mobilization, they make it a volunteer thing. You pay me, I go and I defend the country patriotically. Uh, remember, this is uh, um, another job as the U.S. military offers their uh, troops. The U.S. offers um, their military a lot of perks if they just go over there and guard in, let's say, South Korea. If they stay over there and deploy over there and they guard and they come out of that deployment, I'm not thinking about the 10% of the troops that see active fighting somewhere, all right? 10% of the army sent over there. Uh, those guys, after, the, after that, they get college paid for, they get money, they get this, and they get a veteran, they get no taxes for this if they got wounded. So they get a lot of perks, which is just fine. Just another job, all right? Just another job. So here you have it. This guy's doing the same thing. But hey, these are mercenaries. Okay, don't, let's don't get tangled in uh, terms and semantics. These guys are paid to provide a service, as the American troops are paid to provide services. Well, these guys and PMCs are, are they, uh, um, could, be they, could be indicted under the what, Geneva Convention? I don't know. If they are not, then they will be exactly like those guys with, um, oh yes, uh, Blackwater. Remember Blackwater in Iraq? They were not subject uh, to the Geneva Convention, if I remember correctly. So they started it before these guys. So <laughs> this is a problem with the so-called capitalism. I start something, very good, I shoot up. And then other people follow my lead. Pop, 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 and they do, 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 and they climb, and they surpass me. And then I don't like that. So I'm going to try to, hey, they're doing this, hey, they're doing that, hey. But that's exactly what I did. But they're doing it better. So that's the problem with these guys. Oh, that's uh, mercenaries. Before these guys were around, you could have the foreign legion, French foreign legion. Come on. You can call them however you, they were incorporated in the mercenaries. You can call them however you want. They were paid, not even have a patriotic allegiance to the country, to the French nation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, la, la République. All right. No, they didn't even have that. They had to go over there and kill for another country that was not their country. And after you finish your contract with uh, uh, French Foreign uh, uh, Legion, you didn't have uh, a French uh, citizenship. You did not. You had to extend for two more years, if I remember correctly, two more years. <clears throat> and then all after that, if you survive, you could apply and get French residence and then permanent residence and then citizenship. So are those better than these guys? At least these guys are Russians. So. You know, and there's, I mentioned PM, uh, I mentioned Blackwater from United States of America. I mentioned uh, the French Foreign Legion. Just three examples. I can go on and on because you find that in any other guys who started it before the Russians. The Russians are Johnny come lately to this garbage uh, business. Not garbage business, but you know, they now portray it as garbage business. But when they did it, it was. Yeah, man, that's good. Just business, you know, it's just a company. But here, not good. Why? Because they fuck us up. Uh, that tells me that you don't like competition, do you? Capitalism is as long as you win. When you start losing, ah, there's no more capitalism. Why don't you close this guy's business? Well, there you see this here, you know, too, too big to fall here. No, there's nothing too big to fall. But anyway, this guy's full. Most of these guys, but hey, it is what it is.
Let's see if anything else the, the UK intelligence tells us. No, nothing, nothing more about it. So, so you have this new um, private military company, Redut, remember it. Uh, don't forget about Wagner. Wagner is not going anywhere. <clears throat> Wagner is just um, incorporated or taken over by the uh, Russian government. That's what it is. As I said, when, when Prigozhin was out, um, ousted, he's, uh, it was just um, someone that's going to be appointed over there and that's going to be controlled by the Russian military. Another capitalist move. <laughs> anyway, my friends, uh, the biggest companies are uh, uh, or is the government. And it will be. Why? Because they have, they have the weapons. And they have the weapons, they have the rules, they can write the rules, they can scrape the rules, they can bend the rules. Um, they have the IRS, the taxes. They are in charge. They can, they can make the rules. They can't lose because they make the rules. And they enforce the rules. And if you're not good enough, they're going to have people sent to your uh, whatever you have your head office and close it get you for a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one, i don't know be one-on-one -on -one, it's going to be one-on-three one -on uh, interviews uh, no not interrogation interviews and so on anyway thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just